This video is a product demonstration between two bicycle dynamo hubs. One is the SON Deluxe that fits on the front wheel. The other is the Sun Up that fits on the rear wheel of the bicycle. And uh, it does come with instructions, but I actually found a, a better way to install it. I take the O-ring out of the Sun Up dyno hub, put it on the rear wheel first. That way um, I actually had a, the O-ring crush inside, so this prevents crushing the O-ring. I place the Sun Up Dyno Hub on top, put all the brackets in, screw it uh, just till the screws are flush with the brackets uh, so it is loose, uh, not tight yet. Then I place the rear wheel on my bicycle. I like to put my bicycle upside down while doing this. And, uh, and then I start tightening the bolts, uh, screw about five times each screw, then keep going around. If it is a little loose, uh, that's okay because there's rubber gaskets that kind of uh, very flexible, but if it's too wobbly, you can hit it top dead center with the rubber mallet to uh, reduce the wobble uh, if you need need to. And uh, here's the sound test, uh, just as a control. This is without the Dyno Hub at all in the rear wheel. Now this is the sound of the uh, rear wheel with the SunUp Dyno Hub installed. And this is the sound of the SON Deluxe hub in the front wheel. So I'm using the SunUp Dyno Hub for my invention which is an internal battery that manages a solar panel and dyno power for constant USB charging on a bicycle. Uh, and I also added an LED tail light that turns on automatically when it gets dark while pedaling. I've ridden around with both the SON Deluxe and the SunUp Dyno Hub and they both feel pretty good. So the, the good thing about the SunUp Dyno Hub is you don't have to build a whole wheel for it. You could just put it on top of an existing wheel. And it's pretty, uh, pretty performed very well, and um, I definitely would recommend this.